Right now, a teenager crashes a stolen car into a home on Madison's west side after a multi-agency chase. And U.S. Attorney General William Barr defends the Trump administration's response to protests in Portland. This is News 3 Now at Noon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Kane. Madison police say a teenager is in custody after crashing a stolen car into a home on the west side overnight. This happened on South Whitney Way, just south of Vitance Gulfland. Madison police say the car was being chased by several other law enforcement agencies when it crashed, but per MPD policy, those officers were not involved in the chase. The driver, who was under the age of 18, was arrested along with two others. Police say they found rifle ammo and burglary tools inside the car. Officers could not confirm if anyone was home at the time, but say there were no injuries. On the city's east side, police say a bullet went through a home, a home's window just before 10 o'clock last night. This was in the neighborhood near Sandberg Elementary School across from East Town Mall. No one was home at the time. When residents returned, they saw a bullet went into the closet. No arrests have been made. And new at noon, U.S. Marshals have arrested an 18-year-old accused of a list of violent crimes against women. Sir Melvin Tucker is charged with first-degree sexual assault, armed robbery, and burglary in an incident in September of 2018 when he was 16 years old. Earlier this month, police say that there was a warrant for Tucker's arrest in connection with an attack and attempted sexual assault against another woman in May while he was out on bail on the 2018 charges. Detectives also say they have probable cause to arrest Tucker for an attempted carjacking and battery of a 77-year-old woman on July 9th. Let's head to the Weather Center now. Meteorologist Hattie McLean has a look at your first worn forecast. Hi, Hattie. Good afternoon, Mark. Just a few sprinkles across parts of southern Wisconsin this morning. Right now, looking pretty nice, though. The view from the WIC TV Sky Camera showing you mostly sunny skies this afternoon. Here's a look at Weather Track showing you those few showers that tried to hold together long enough to make it into Madison. Now, all the activity is to the north and east for most of us. There is expected to be some development a little bit later on, though, this afternoon. Temperatures are climbing rather quickly. We're now at 80 here in Madison, 82 in Lone Rock, and 81 in Platteville. We're headed to highs in the mid 80s today, right around 84 degrees. There will be a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms starting late this afternoon and then going right through the evening hours. Coming up in just a few minutes, we will time out those rain chances for all of southern Wisconsin. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you, Hattie. The Baraboo School Board has voted last night to let families choose between in-person and virtual learning. Parents have until August 7th to decide and they'll be asked their preferred method again at the end of the second quarter. The district says they'll have classes five days a week with early release on Wednesdays. They'll be putting social, uh, they'll be uh, putting social distancing and sanitation practices in place. The Verona School District plans to start the year online. The school board voted 4-2 to two in favor of the decision last night. The decision includes some exceptions. Kindergartners through second graders will have half days in person for four consecutive days of the week. The board voted unanimously to push back the start of the school year to September 8th. They say all students will return to the classrooms once public health metrics allow. And Wanakee schools will follow what they're calling an enhanced virtual plan for the start of the year. The school board approved the plan around 1 a.m. Overnight, the option means teachers will be in the classrooms providing virtual instruction to students at home. During the second quarter, the district plans to transition to a hybrid model, which combines classrooms and virtual learning. There's also an option for students to stay virtual the entire year. Florida added almost 9,000 new COVID-19 cases yesterday, its lowest number in weeks, while Texas saw its death toll jump 12% after the state changed the way it counts fatalities. Officials in Houston say so far they, had, they have had twice as many COVID-19 deaths in July than all of June. The numbers show significant community spread. Florida reported another 77 COVID-related deaths on Monday. Coronavirus Response Coordinator Dr. Deborah Burks says what is happening in the South is moving north. She urged states to take precautions. Nonprofits across the country are struggling in the pandemic as the need for many of their services, like food banks, rise while donations plummet. According to the National Council of Nonprofits, an estimated 1.6 million nonprofit jobs have been lost over the past three months, and 13% of nonprofits have been forced to suspend some or all of their operations. National Council of Nonprofits President Tim Delaney says the situation is dire. Often 
referred to as uh, the good people, the angels who are out there doing things. Well, I'm here to tell you that angels have to pay their rent. Angels have to pay their utilities. Angels have to pay their employees. Angels do have costs. There is some hope on the horizon for nonprofits. Recently, the Federal Reserve announced their Main Street Lending Program will now be available for nonprofit organizations that have been established for five years or longer. Wisconsin police departments are withdrawing from agreements to help bolster security at the Democratic National Convention in Milwaukee next month. Departments in Fond du Lac, Franklin, and West Allis have backed out, with some of them citing Milwaukee's recent orders barring the police from using tear gas and pepper spray at demonstrations. The convention has been scaled down to a mostly virtual event because of the pandemic, with about 300 people expected to attend in person. But police are still preparing for the possibility of large protests. CBS News has learned the Trump administration is preparing to deploy up to 100 more federal officers to Portland, Oregon, as the federal agents clash with protesters. This comes as Attorney General William Barr is launching a defiant defense of the Trump administration's response to protesters. Skyler Henry has more details from Capitol Hill. Attorney General William Barr defended the Trump administration's response to clashes in Portland between federal officers and protesters. What unfolds nightly around the courthouse cannot reasonably be called protest. It is, by any objective measure, an assault on the government of the United States. Barr dismissed the connection between the Portland protests and calls for racial equality in the wake of George Floyd's death. And he insisted police departments are not inherently racist. The threat to black lives posed by crime on the streets is massively greater than any threat posed by police misconduct. House Democrats accused the administration of inflaming tensions in Portland and other cities. By flooding federal law enforcement into the streets of American cities against the wishes of the state and local leaders of those cities to forcefully and unconstitutionally suppress dissent. And they accuse Barr of politicizing the Department of Justice to do whatever President Trump wants. In this Justice Department, the president's enemies will be punished and his friends will be protected no matter the cost, no matter the cost to liberty, no matter the cost to justice. Republicans use their time to rehash the Russia investigation that dogged President Trump's first two years in office. You had the courage to state the truth. They attack you. They've been attacking you ever since, every day, every week for simply stating the truth that the Obama-Biden administration <laughs> spied on the Trump campaign. And while Democrats say they are still concerned about foreign interference in the upcoming election, Attorney General Barr says the administration is concerned about voter fraud, utilizing mail-in ballots. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. And today's hearing started about an hour late because House Judiciary Chair Jerry Nadler was in a car accident while traveling to Washington, D.C. this morning. Mr. Nadler was not driving, and he says nobody was hurt in the accident. Well, there's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. I'm next. We'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Looking for just the right thing to bring to this year's family potluck dinner? We've got it. And if it doesn't make you the most popular relative, I don't know what will. Be nice to not have to deal with your messy gutters anymore. Leave that nasty chore in the rear view mirror with a new Leaf Guard gutter system. Hi, I'm Andrew Larson, owner of Larson Home Services. My team would love to show you how Leaf Guard's patented design keeps leaves and debris out so you can give up cleaning your gutters forever. And now is the best time to get Leaf Guard. Order now and save 75% on installation labor, free financing for a year, and a $100 Visa gift card. Call to set up your free estimate today. This right here is confidence and a bottle. It just gives you such a boost to confidence. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes in as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, 
um, it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. And I did this to my father. We were at home. I had the timer on and we were screaming. Four minutes, 34 seconds, completely gone. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> These lines bother me, they really do. And this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing, it feels good feels great, looks even better. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. So it targets all those problem areas. So this would be a daily thing? or It absolutely could be a daily thing, but the way you wanna do it is you wanna have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you wanna go to, you wanna look years younger, this is it. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Application. Your solution is at plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. Connect with News 3 now on Facebook Messenger to create a personalized news feed just for you. The topics you want, the day's top stories, and push alerts for breaking news all through Messenger. Learn more at channel3000.com. Summer potluck parties means lots of friends and family, fun in the sun, and the part that everyone looks forward to the most, lots of good food. So if you're invited to one and need something to bring, here's an idea. How about fancied up deviled eggs? Yup, these are so good, they'll earn you the title of MVP at this year's bash. We start by hard cooking a dozen eggs. Now, if you're one of those folks who thinks hard boiled eggs are difficult, think again. All we do is place the eggs in a large pot, cover them with water and bring them to a boil. Once they start to boil, turn off the heat, cover them, and let them sit for about 12 minutes for large eggs or 15 for extra large ones. Then drain them well, add some ice, and this will make peeling them a breeze. After cutting them in half and placing the yolks in a bowl, we add some mayo, sour cream, Dijon mustard, and a bit of black pepper. After it's mixed, we add some crumbled bacon, shredded cheddar, and a bit of chives. Do these look amazing or what? I have a pretty good feeling that these are gonna be the first dish to disappear. They're that good. To get the recipe for our bacon and cheddar deviled eggs, simply visit our website and get ready for lots of oohs and ahs. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Task Kitchen, where today we found a bacon and egg lover's way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. All right, Howard, thank you. Next at noon, sunshine this afternoon, but showers and thunderstorm chances are moving in. Hattie will have your first warned forecast next. RHD Plumbing has the most reliable professionals in the industry. With honesty you can trust to deliver quality products and workmanship dedicated to being the best. RHD Plumbing now offers complete bathroom and kitchen remodeling, the best plumbers, and everything else you need to finish your dream project. For your home or business, get the job done right the first time with no surprises. With the reliable, honest, and dedicated plumbing professionals of RHD Plumbing, proudly serving all of Dane County. Save big money in your next project with 11% off everything now at Menards. Jeldwin has 140 in stock windows so you can complete your project today. Right now, all Jeldwin windows are 11% off. Enjoy warm summer breezes with a new Larson Lakeview Split View Storm Door. With a screen away retractable screen and a hold open closer, $249.99 after 11% off. Stop waiting and start saving with 11% off everything now at Menards. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. She was the most welcoming person you could ever imagine. Her home was the safe place. It was difficult to comprehend how quickly everything kind of spiraled downwards. We didn't even know that she had COVID till a week later in her passing. The president made a huge mistake in downplaying this virus. There was a lack of leadership, a lack of responsibility, and a lack of resources. I felt like our elderly have not been a priority for this administration, that they don't matter. And I feel like my grandmother didn't matter. 
Last time I saw my grandmother, we weren't going to be allowed in the hospital. We asked if we could video chat her, and everyone could say a little something. We gathered as a family, we prayed. But the fact that she was alone, it just breaks my heart. Hi everyone, Wednesday morning, Hattie says the sun will be back. She'll tell us just how long the rain's gonna stay away. And the COVID-19 pandemic is highlighting the problem of food insecurity in our community. We'll tell you how you can get involved in health starting at 4.30 on News 3 Now this morning. Medicine Magazine is recognizing amazing nurses for their courage and commitment during the COVID-19 pandemic. Go to madisonmagazine.com and nominate a nurse for going above and beyond the call of duty. Deadline for submissions is August 17. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. A photo company receives hundreds of millions of dollars to join the fight against COVID-19 and McDonald's reports losses as people continue to stay home. Diane King Hall has your Money Watch report. Stocks started today's session lower as investors fretted over the latest batch of earnings. Wall Street is also on edge about the gulf between Republican and Democratic plans for new stimulus measures. The picture of health, Kodak is getting into the medical manufacturing business. The century-old photo company is receiving a $765 million loan from the government to manufacture medical materials and active pharmaceutical ingredients. The ingredients would be used to produce generic drugs, including the anti-malarial drug hydroxychloroquine, which has been used to treat the coronavirus. A sales slump at McDonald's as some states pause reopenings. The world's biggest burger chain says revenue fell 30% to $3.77 billion in its second quarter. Earnings were chopped by more than half as people continue to stay home. McDonald's says profit dropped to $483.8 million. And for the travel starved, how about a cruise around the world in 2021? The Viking World Cruise is planning to set sail on Christmas Eve next year for a 136-day trek, hitting 27 countries, 56 ports, and 11 overnight land stays. Seafarers will cruise through the Panama Canal, cross the Pacific to New Zealand, and make stops in Asia, the Middle East, and the Mediterranean before ending in London. The stay far from home journey is pricey, though, at nearly $50,000 a person. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. I'm Diane King-Hall. Diane, thank you. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrials down 115 points. The NASDAQ off 36. The S&P 500 down a little over four. Farm Director Pam Yankee is here today with today's Ag News. Hi, Pam. Well, we've got the numbers now. It looks like more than 12,000 farms across the state of Wisconsin capitalized on the first round of monies available through the Wisconsin Farm Support Program. Yesterday, Governor Tony Evers gave us the official numbers, about 12,000 farms that were impacted, each one getting $3,500 apiece, and that totaled about $41.6 million of the $50 million earmarked for this program. Uh, the remaining money will go out in the next round of applications, beginning August 10th through the 24th, and they've changed the gross income requirements on this round, dropping it down to $10,000 as a minimum gross farm income that had to be generated to qualify for the monies. Again, August 10th through the 24th, application will still be online through the Department of Revenue, so keep that in mind. Well, it was a tremendous success. It's not the Wisconsin State Fair, but it's a chance to sample fair food. Thursday through Sunday, they had more than 2,300 cars that drove through the fair food experience. One of those vendors was the Wisconsin Pork Association. Carrie Retallick, their executive director, said they sold 4,440 pork sandwiches in the course of the four days' time. Now, this week, the Wisconsin Pork Association steps back, and instead, the Wisconsin Cattlemen's Association will have their offerings there, selling ribeye sandwiches as well as cheeseburgers and beef hot dogs Thursday through Sunday at State Fair Park. If you want to see all the vendors that are going to have fair food samples for you to buy, go to wistatefair.com. There you go. Just a quick snapshot of what's happening in food news, quite literally, for a Tuesday. Check out our website as well, midwestfarmreport.com, or see what's happening. Fabulous Farm Babe on Facebook. We'll catch up with you tomorrow morning.
All right, Pam, thank you. Had you here now, a wet July. Certainly has been. If you've been thinking that your rain gauge has been getting a workout, take a look at this. Here in Madison, just for example, over seven and a half inches of rain so far this month. That puts us almost four inches above the normal for this time in July. Of course, we're almost to the end of July, but we may add to those totals yet later on today into tonight. Here are three things that you need to know. We do have some thunder in the forecast this afternoon and evening. It's going to be more of a hit and miss event than a likelihood that we're all going to see that rain, but there is that possibility. Overall, though, we have a warm temperature trend with highs remaining in the 80s, and then after that rain today, take a look at this. It's dry weather in the forecast Wednesday through Wednesday, so a very quiet weather pattern settling in. Doppler track showing you what's happening right now. We've had a few passing light showers north and east of Madison. They're moving pretty quickly, so if you find yourself under one of those showers, it's certainly not going to last very long. Across the upper Midwest. We're not seeing any more development across Minnesota or Iowa, but look to central Wisconsin later on this afternoon for some potential shower and thunderstorm activity. It'll all initiate right along this cold front. It's a pretty weak front, but as it gradually slips southward over the next 12 hours, it will provide enough focus for a few sh uh, showers and thunderstorms across the area. No severe weather is expected. We don't have any clouds in the sky right now. Here's the shot from the Edgewater Sky Cam in Madison. Looking pretty good at the lunch shower 80 degrees in Madison 78 in the Dells Monroe and Janesville check in with 81 right now dew points have risen just a couple of degrees we're seeing 64 on the map here in Madison Lone Rock and Boscobel 62 degree dew point in the Dells as we go through the afternoon I'm not anticipating much change with those dew point numbers they'll hold fairly steady in the low to mid 60s so you'll feel the humidity but it won't be crazy humid like it was over the weekend those dew points should hold steady. Our future track forecast model is showing you how this rain develops later on this afternoon. By five o'clock across central Wisconsin, we'll start to see some of those showers and isolated thunderstorms pop up, and then they'll gradually sink southward through the evening hours. So here in Madison, we may actually stay dry until the sun sets tonight and then see that rain push through after dark. All rain chances, though, come to an end by early morning on Wednesday. Now, as far as amounts, it's going to be pretty light for southern Wisconsin. As I mentioned, hit and miss. Most areas less than a quarter of an inch, although if you do find yourself under a thunderstorm, could be a brief half inch of rain. Here's a look at that extended forecast, then. We have lots of sunshine and pretty quiet conditions. We'll be putting our feet up in the weather office with a forecast like this. Partly sunny skies with high temperatures in the lower 80s. If you can't sleep tonight, maybe you want to check out out a double meteor shower. The best time to view it will be after one in the morning. Again, uh, best place would be dark open sky. Allow your eyes some time to adjust to the darkness, but look to the southern sky. Two meteor showers overnight mm. tonight. You can see when you come into work in the morning. I certainly can, <laughs> hopefully. Dark and early. Yes. All right, Hattie, thank you. You're welcome. Next at noon, a Missouri teen plans a big graduation surprise after months of hard work. That story's next. Now, first born weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Seattle's pledge to defund its police department by 50%, even including a proposal to remove 911 dispatchers from police control. Joe Biden said he's absolutely on board with defunding the police. Listen close. Yes, uh, absolutely. Hello, you've reached 911. I'm sorry that there is no one here to answer your emergency call, but leave a message and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. We asked real customers what they really love about Spectrum Internet and TV. Spectrum Internet has the fastest speeds for everything I do. There is no turning wheel. It's immediate. Spectrum is the fastest. Bam. <laughs> Get the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance with Spectrum Internet, delivering starting speeds of 200 megabits. That's more than enough for all your devices for $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. I can't get over how much on-demand Spectrum has. I can literally watch a new movie every night. I got all my shows, and he's got all his shows. With the Spectrum TV app, I can watch live TV anywhere. It's perfect. Add Spectrum TV and enjoy more free HD and more free on-demand. Plus, use the Spectrum TV app to watch live TV 
TV on the go, all from $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. The fact that they don't have contracts, that says a lot about their service. Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each with no contracts. Install Spectrum services yourself. Get a self-installation kit shipped right to your home. Call 833-906-4499. You know your gutters are full of gunk, and you know you need to deal with it eventually. With LeafGuard, you can give up cleaning your gutters forever. Hi, I'm Andrew Larson, owner of Larson Home Services. My team would love to show you how LeafGuard's patented design channels rainwater into your gutters while leaves, seeds, and other debris just roll off, leaving them clog-free, guaranteed. We looked at several different types of gutters, and we knew that we had problems with leaves. We have lots of trees around our house, and I'm the one who goes and cleans out the gutters, and uh, I wanted to eliminate that hassle in the fall of cleaning the gutters and LeafGuard has done a wonderful job. Love to hear that. Right now, your LeafGuard brand gutter system comes with some great money-saving extras. Order now and save 75% on installation labor, get free financing for a year, and a $100 Visa gift card. Call to set up your free estimate today. A high school senior in Missouri with cerebral palsy says the only disability in life is a bad attitude, and he's using that mindset to work hard and walk himself across the graduation stage next week without crutches. Alan Shope has the story. I have cerebral palsy. For 18-year-old Danny Oaks, the goal is a very individual one. There were times where, you know, it hurt. He says a realization of a life walking with crutches is not his life. The only person who can change who I am is me. Danny says long ago he made a decision, so he took up wrestling. There were challenges. This is what I can do independently. This is what I'm struggling with. Then he set another goal. After I walked across the gymnasium at my school without the crutches, I was like, let me take this a step further and walk across the graduation stage. That was a tight deadline, May 8th, but with the COVID crisis, it was moved to July 31st, giving Danny more time. I would exercise. I would walk on the treadmill, do whatever. He's been determined to prove. I want to walk across the stage because my whole life, I get asked, can I walk without my crutches? I would always answer someday. Well, why not make someday now? Do another one. Life's a mountain. And it's only the person that you want to be inside of you that's going to climb that mountain. I know, that looks good. Good for him. Determination. All right, sunny skies for now. Yeah, enjoy that sunshine right now. We're heating up quickly across southern Wisconsin. We'll keep our eyes on the radar map this afternoon as showers and isolated thunderstorms begin to develop north of Dane County. Rain chances again, likely to get wet later on this afternoon, but then that comes to an end by Wednesday. All right, we'll see you back here at 4. Have a great afternoon.